of October. I'm gonna have a quick check to make sure it is the 7th. It is, it is Wednesday the 7th of October. Got off to a good start today. Um, I did my trampoline workout. I'm planning to take Lily a walk as well. Um, I've cleaned my fridge in my kitchen and I've cleaned my fridge in my garage. Cheers. I'm desperate to go and get some more of these cups. I really love them. I really, really love them. I'm having a coffee just now. I know this looks like a teacup, but actually, just because it's shaped like that, it doesn't mean it's a teacup because my china set that I have that my mum bought me years and years ago, the cups um, uh, look a kind of that bigger shape, but they are actually coffee cups, but you can use them for both. You can use them for whatever you want. I could put Coca-Cola in there. I could put gin if I wanted to. <laughs> That's bad that I'm starting to think about gin at this time. What time is it? five past two so i've cleaned the fridges i'm in the process of cleaning another cupboard so these are my amc pots another gift from my mum these pots must be about 37 38 years old there you go so these are all our frying pans you know rico likes his frying pans this is like the solid cast iron one you can see rico has kitchen row in that because he oils the cast iron pans it stops them from um rusting so that's the griddle actually that one down there so that's oiled that's why it's got a bit of tissue in there so i'm gonna do all this clean the cupboard get this reorganized and um take lily a walk because it's nice and dry i've got washing outside got a nice wind that's how windy it is because my basket it was sitting under the washing line and it's now been blown over there but that's good they'll probably be dry so i'll get my hairband on to cover my ears because it's windy and i'll get a jacket on and take her i might actually walk to tk maxx and pick up cups because if i've got lily it stops me from buying too many things because i have to i got cut off and this time it wasn't my battery it was my sim card so i just deleted some stuff that i'd already uploaded so what was i saying yeah if i've got lily i can't carry too many things because i have to cut that's what i'm saying i have to carry lily in tk maxx but at least they allow her in so that is my plan and i'm going to upload another vlog i'm doing well with uploading every day i can't remember when i started it was seven days so it's, if it's the 7th of october i've been uploading consistently for seven days I don't know if I'm going to do this. My dizziness as well is back, but I don't actually think my dizziness is due to my normal dizziness. I think my dizziness may be due to my diet. I'm not sure. Anyhow, that reminded me. I just felt a wee bit dizzy there. I'm going to take my vitamins. Primrose, vitamin D, especially now with this COVID thing. Oh, that reminds me. Um yeah we're waiting for an update from nicola sturgeon at the moment because it looks as if she is going to impose further um lockdown measures it looks as if it's going to affect the pubs so we're waiting to hear so do you know we our lockdown lasted probably lasted more than the rest of the uk if i remember correctly and now it looks as if we're going into a bigger lockdown than the rest of the UK as well. We don't know what she's going to announce. There's been a lot of rumours that maybe you can only dine outside, but it's getting rather cold. I don't know. I really, we're all kind of waiting to see. Schools are definitely staying open at the moment. Um, we're not allowed to mix within households anyway. So I don't know. I really, I really don't know what's going to happen with that just wish it would go away i personally what i believe is this is what i've been saying to rico right from the beginning when i heard universities were all going back i said to rico this is just my opinion and i'm not really big in politics and all that but i have an opinion my opinion is when i heard universities were all going back i said to rico this was a plan for herd immunity because that age group of university goers are the ones that are supposed to be safe although nobody knows who's safe 
when they get the virus. So they put them all into universities because it was their, their choice to go. Nobody can come back and say to the government, well, you did this. Just let me let Lydia, she wants to go out. So I think it was, on you go, go, go. It's chilly when you open the door. So I think it was a plan, right? So get all these youngsters, get them in. They all catch it, creating herd immunity. So that's, you know, quite a vast part of the population the university goes they all get it and then you lock them in so they're not kind of infecting grandparents and the older generation because they're you know that they're all having to stay they're not like they have to isolate now and that's part of the population that has herd immunity that's what I believe but then who am I I'm standing in front of the mirror so I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day for you so this is my jumper from Primark. So this is exactly what I wanted it for. A nice cosy jumper that looks nice and I can wear in the house. And yeah, and I have a, my old Gucci belt to hold. This goes a lot smaller because I still haven't had a hole added to my um, Hermes belt. So this fits me much better. And I have my jeans on from next these are supposed to be the sculpt jeans i don't know if any jeans are sculpt jeans but anyway they're comfortable and yeah so this is not the most slimming of jumpers but i like it because it's keeping me warm enough and not too warm it's not itchy and it looks okay right let me take these vitamins see if could be, I don't know, I'm getting, I st I'm still getting this stress thing around my jaw. You know where you go and you can feel that? Yeah. So I'm, I feel as if I'm clenching my teeth at night as well. Which is something I never ever used to do. I'm not grinding them. Talking about grinding, when I talk about grinding. Do you remember, those of you that have been with me for ages, when my mum used to grind her teeth? But if you don't know, my mum had dementia and I looked after my mum. She lived with me and... Oh my goodness, it's so juicy, it's that great. Oh, it was the most awful, awful, awful sound. She didn't know any better, but... Yeah, I've, I've actually really, this week, I've really, really... I mean, I miss my mum every day, every, every day I miss my mum. And... I don't know, this week it's really, like, it's really got to me this week, like, I just want her. I don't know if, I don't know, I can't explain, I just want her. You know, you, we miss the people we lose, you know, on a daily basis, something will remind us we lose them. I have a photograph there of my most important people, my mum, my Lulu, yeah, she's my people too, and my dad. And I've always got my Gandili lit there for them. It's ready to go out, actually. And so I see them and I remember them all day. I don't need photographs to remember them, but, you know. But sometimes it's more than remembering. I'm going to get emotional. Sometimes it's more than remembering. Sometimes you just want them. And it's a horrible feeling because... You can't do anything about it. You know they've gone. And that's that's what's heartbreaking, you know. There's no going back, there's no change. They've gone. And it breaks my it really this week I I've been quite emotional about that. So that's why I've made a real effort this week. I kinda get up and get on with things so I'm not dwelling on things of course I have my moments and yeah I just I just want my mum <laughs> that's all just right we'll leave it here and just like that it's done that's another one done hooray so that leaves these ones here that's what they all look like. It's my towels, my oven trays, all of that. It looks a mess, doesn't it? But that's like gadgets, hand gadgets, basically. And my cutlery drawer. And this 
nearly gets done on a weekly basis because if there's one thing I can't stand is a crumb in a cutlery drawer. So this gets done all the time anyway. But I think that's going to be the next lot. And then I'm going to do this one. But this is another one that I do regularly. Actually, as we take things out, I always wipe them out. But just to reorganise everything, I think just do it all at once. That's a big one. Because it's not just taking things out. It's cleaning all the containers, the baskets that everything sits in. So that's, that's a big job, this one. This is one that, mm, yeah. Anyway, I've done one for today, so that's it. I like to do my cupboards like that because if I had to do every cupboard all in the same day, it's I would just put it off and off because it's too daunting because I know they're not, it's not really a necessity because if I do see a crumb in any of the, of the cupboards or I just clean them anyway throughout the year, basically so I know they're not I know when I pull things out of my cupboards they'll never be um dirty because I'm always kind of cleaning them so it would be oh they don't really need it and I would put it off but if I do one a day what's one cupboard a day I mean honestly what's one cupboard a day so it just I add it to part of my daily routines you know what I'm like with routines I know right Let's go get Lily out, walking, and yeah. Actually, before I take Lily, I'm gonna go and iron as well, and that gets that job done. <sighs> okay, we have had our update. So, in our area, all pubs and all restaurants are closing as of Friday. So that's not the whole of Scotland, that's just certain areas and we are in that area <sighs> I'm just glad I'm not in the restaurant trade anymore but um well the official restaurant trade uh we're still in catering but we're not in the restaurant trade anyway all that aside see up the so and kind of indoor classes and all that group activities like within gyms as well are a band although gyms are not having to close you can go and I think use the machines you know like individual workouts we can still meet as far as I know in our gardens like two different households so for example Ruth and George could come over and we can then um, sit in the garden thank god for the heaters thank god we've got two heaters and a wood burner type thing in the garden because we're certainly going to need it this winter because it doesn't look like our families are going to be allowed in our houses. I just hope it works. I just hope all these measures are going to work. I can see a, a, a shortage in um, alcohol drinks in the supermarkets. I think this is only for the next 16 days anyway. So it starts Friday and in other areas pubs and restaurants can open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. outside these kind of specific areas that are having kind of having a stricter lockdown so from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they can only serve alcohol outside anyway so that's what the update looks like also you know avoid public transport unless it's absolutely necessary work from home if you can and wash your hands and all of that so that is the situation we are at just now i'm gonna sit and start my editing and then i'm gonna uh walk take lily a walk um i'm gonna walk to the shops i've decided and i'm going to take this bag because it goes with this top and yeah that's all i'm gonna take and i think i may be dehydrated I'm going to take some water, see if this dizziness <laughs> subsides. Right. Let's do this. I don't I always see these updates, so always they just bring me down because it's just it's feeling now like it's never ending, you know. Initially we all locked down hoping it would go away. It kind of slowed it down and then it's we're, Here we are October and It's just 
starting all over again like it's really really bad again and even even the children you know you don't know the, the, it was even our grandchildren are getting confused one minute we're cuddling them then we can't then we can cuddle yeah you can cuddle yeah yeah no you can't cuddle yeah yeah goodness sake i've had enough really really had enough Honestly, you know, for ages there I was lockdown vlog, lockdown vlog. I think when I have to start doing a lockdown vlog again, here we go again, lockdown. It really, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, right, I'm going to edit because you know what, editing takes my mind off things. Okay, I am back from B&M. Blinds are closed because it is dark. I actually went into B&M to pick up, see if they had the Christmas lights in that I've been after for ages, but they haven't got them. So I picked up some more Toblerone for Rico. And I picked up some, have you sprayed these Rico? No. No. Some Himalayan pink salt. And Rico picked up some more of that Zinfandel that we reviewed. Is it this one or that one? Which one is it? Is it this one with the funny face? Okay, I have now sprayed them so I can touch them. So this is the one, 1000 Stories that Rico reviewed in our Food and Wine review. So it's now back up to full price. £15 is it, did you say? And he also picked up another Zinfandel. So we'll see what this one's like. But this one was absolutely delicious. What percent is this? Is it as high as that one? I don't know, I never checked. 14% as well. That one was 14.5, I think. Was it? Let me see. 14 and a half. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, 14.5%. And I jumped into TK Maxx and picked up some of these cups because I absolutely love them. They're all hand painted. Hello and welcome to the 8th of October, I think it's the 8th, I'm hoping it's the 8th because I don't have the energy to go and check on my calendar, I could check on my watch right enough, or I could ask Siri, Siri what's today's date, wait a minute, it doesn't work like that, hey Siri, what's today's date, it's Thursday the 8th of October 2020, there we go, confirmed. It's the 8th of October, Thursday, 2020. A year that I doubt any of us will ever, ever forget. I think even my grandchildren are going to remember this year. They sure are. Okay, I've just done my trampoline workout. It took me ages this morning to get motivated. I did everything, but my workout this morning but it's it's always good once it's done that's a good thing so I've done half an hour on the trampoline that's it I think that'll be it today in a walk with Lily and uh, I've cleaned the kitchen cupboard as well I've got my washing on a stand in the kitchen at the moment because I didn't oh, bloody battery because I didn't want it just lying about until I was ready to tumble dry it. So I've tumble dried some, but then whilst I was on the trampoline, I don't like to leave it and then it gets all creased in the tumble dry. I like to kind of be, a, you know, they want to stop my workout, go check the washing because it's raining and then it's sunshine. That's not worth putting it out. So I'm gonna get that in the tumble dryer once I'm uh, showered and dressed. I'm hoping to film a video as well today washing is on the stand there i used to do that when i used to go to work i used to leave it on the stand if i couldn't get it outside and then tumble dry it when i came home and some of you that have been with me for ages will remember that uh, what did i come in here for oh yeah so i decided to organize my mugs today i know i i was supposed to be doing this section to finish the lower section off but because i bought new mugs 
didn't have any more space in there so I needed to um, rearrange the mug so I brought out this stand which I had and I've just put them on aren't they, aren't they beautiful I might just go and get see I've got a bit of you know things have to be the same although all these cups are different and that's what I liked about them and um, they didn't have any other patterns left when I was in they had a few more of these but I'll just I'll not I'll just check when I go in but these are nice mugs as well these were gifts as well see people know we love mugs lab testing see all the wine bottles for Rico there that one was for Rico and this one was for me let your hair down because I'm a party girl there we go really love them I love things like that when there's thought put into them and this was a mug that I picked up from Harrods in Terminal 5 don't know how many years ago that was when I also got my Cartier Love Bangle as well and I picked up a few bits and pieces that day but so I've just put that one there as well and I'll change if I don't get more of these I'll kind of change about the mugs I put there because I've got lots of mugs from lots of friends like this one and I don't want to mess them up and this one and this one coffee is my wine there we go so I have lots of special mugs I have all these ones just to my full good ones just to you know nice things on me to motivate me in the mornings and then all the rest are all going on. I've got a couple of Christmas ones which are going to be coming down soon okay that's enough about mugs is it fair to say that's another addiction <laughs> oh, man. right dizziness update I don't know I don't know it's it's bearable I'm not a hundred percent but I'm not as bad as I was the last time. See, I've rubbed my face and I've moved my contact now, right? I'm gonna go and have a shower.